Hey right, guys, welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel and we've got another unboxing here uh, and this one's from Miner's Beard Company. Um, really excited about this one. Uh, this one uh, features the collaboration with my friend Barbado Joe. Uh, if you don't know Joe, well you gotta know Joe. He's just got so much energy. Uh, makes me kind of feel bad like I'm an old fuddy-duddy because I don't have the same energy that Joe's got. Uh, Joe's also a, a, a teacher as myself. We both are in the trenches every day uh, teaching the high school kids. Um, but Joe's, uh, he did some stuff on YouTube and now mostly things he does is like uh, pop-up reviews and unboxings and stuff on Instagram and IGTV. Uh, but you can still find him every week on YouTube at the new Beard Therapy, um, which comes on Wednesday nights at I think they've changed the time on it. I think it's 8.30, 8.30 to 10.30. Uh, I think I'm gonna be on there in November, so uh, be looking for that episode. And uh, Miner's Beer Company. Miner's Beer Company has some great fall scents. Uh, they actually sent um, me uh, the four of their fall scents. I think they got a few others that are kind of like Halloween inspired, but four that they call uh, fall scents. You can check those out. Uh, on another video I did, my fall scent extravaganza, really good scents. Um, they, they're really creative with the artwork. And then over the past week or so, I saw where they had like a, a, an, on a different graphic artist on board and they have come up with, dun dun dun, the uh, Barbado Joe logo, the new graphics there. It looks absolutely wonderful. He's got that mischievous look to his uh, to his mug there. Um, and then this is supposed to be a tobacco inspired scent. And uh, Joe knows that I love uh, tobacco scents. This one's mixed with apricot, I believe, and bergamot and a little bit of vanilla. And it sounded scrumptious. So I wanted to see what it was all about. Um, so I'm curious to see how much of a tobacco you get because sometimes tobacco scents, the tobacco is the main feature and then sometimes it's kind of in the back uh, kind of giving it a little more earthiness. So we'll see which one this one is. Um, a nice looking label. It is uh, oil and waterproof. It's sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, castor oil, hemp seed oil, avocado, se avocado oil, grape seed oil, and then the fragrance oils to finish this off. I think I'm smelling it already. Let's see what we've got here. That's very nice. You get mostly a, a smooth fruit to it. And I, I don't know if I could have picked out apricot, but it is definitely in the in that uh, vein there, apricot peach. Not exactly peach though. I get like a little bit of a bubble gum too, which is kind of weird. Let me get almost clear. That's really clear. Warm up a couple of these drops. Yeah, and then I get a little more of the bergamot. And then t tobacco is just kind of hanging there in the back. I'm not sure if it's pipe tobacco or Cuban, but it's not, it doesn't have a, a lot of spice to it or anything like that. That's knock you over. So if you're not a fan of tobacco scents, I think you could really still enjoy uh, this collaboration from Binder's Beard with Barbado Joe. And this one's called Allegheny Ap Apricot. Uh, so I think Joe lives up there, maybe close to the Allegheny uh, Mountains, Allegheny River, I think. Hmm. Uh, anyway, let's see what else we got. It looks like they sent me the balm as well. And I think I got a butter in here. I'm not sure if it's the, the butter in this uh, collection or not, but I had not tried a butter from Miner's Beard. So when they contacted me about uh, sending out this um, collaboration scent, I asked about, can I try butter? Because I'm getting, I'm, I'm contemplating doing a kind of a, my favorites butter thing by the end of the year, because I haven't done one on those. Because when I did my favorite scent list back in the summer, I hadn't tried enough butters yet. But now I keep adding to uh, the ones that I have on hand to choose from. So be looking for that maybe before the end of the year. But the balm looks really nice and smooth. And let's see. This is a little bit firmer balm, I think, than what I have on the um, uh, on the ones from the fall scent. I may be misremembering as it goes, but that smells just like the oil. Uh, there's really no waxy smell to it, even though it appears to be a, a slightly higher than medium hold uh, for those of us that like a little bit more firm hold like I do. And then let's see what else we've got. 
it looks like they put the bubble uh the uh the butter in a nice foil lined bubble wrap container which is interesting companies do all they can to keep these butters together but that is just great it's four ounces uh so four ounces here two ounces here one ounce of the oil i think all that goes for 44 dollars. if i look that up right don't hold me to it but uh there may be some discount codes and those kind of things uh just check with check on joe's channel he can tell you and oh my goodness that looks really 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 whipped and uh, it looks like it would just almost melt in your fingertips it smells the same that's a great nice light kind of scent that's a little bit fruity and oh yeah come right out just like that do i need more product in my beard that's really nice and creamy uh, I've, I've gotten a couple that are kind of on the whipped um whip side of butters but it's like that's whipped too much like it's putting too much air in it that it's it makes it a little bit harder to work with and it feels like you got to add oil to it this one has got a nice shine melts right down ah, wonderful scent to it so i'll be checking all of that out and doing a i might do a follow-up review for miners beards particular uh, specifically or be looking for some other stuff on some of my favorite videos maybe by the end of the year uh, especially with this butter if it uh, performs as well as it uh, appears to uh, right out of the container but anyway uh, thank you to miners beard for uh, sending this out to me joe thank you for all you do uh, for the community and i appreciate you guys watching see you on the next video